the world fucked up. Totally fucked up world. This is a fucked up world, fool. Phone chilling the other day on God, right? My homeboy hit me up. I answer the phone. He on some goofy shit. He like, check out that link I just sent you. I said, all right, bet. So I check out the link. I tell the bro, I said, bro, it's the OnlyFans link. Bitch, I don't buy OnlyFans. What I look like? You look like, you look like a doily. Then it was like $6.99 a month. So damn cheap. I was like, I ain't finna pay to go see a hoe. Dollar to see that. Like, bro, tight shit. That's low vibration. You know what he gonna tell me, bro? He was like, he sent me $10. Oh, are you serious? He was like, bro, watch. I said, nigga, I'm finna go buy a gram. Now it's time to get super duper high. That was about that. Um, he was like, bro, just watch it, man. I cleaned the link to watch it. Oh, my mom, it's my bitch, my nigga. <laughs> I'm here paying all these bills and this bitch want to show her booty over for $6.99. She's crazy. That is crazy. I was finna call the phone and go to tweaking on but You got caught in fucking 4K! Hey, what are you doing? But you know, I had to do be a little more rational, so I waited. I was like, I'm just gonna go home. So I go home. I go home, this bitch up in the kitchen. <laughs> Perfect. And when she was in the kitchen, I went and whispered her ear and said, This could be all yours for $6.99 a month. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and she gonna jump. She gonna jump like, what, what, what did you say? I said, this could be all yours for six ninety nine. you stupid hoe. And she gonna look at me. I'm like, yeah, bro, I know you got OnlyFans, bro. You do. You know? This bitch gonna say, this is why I didn't want to tell you, because you're so insecure. We know that. I can't, I can't even be in a relationship with a bitch and be like, look, please. Please don't show your pussy ass for six ninety nine 99 a month. Come on now, dawg. Come on, man. I can't even be in a relationship with that. I shouldn't even have to say that. And if I miss, I hate it. First of all, that's absolutely crazy. But before I get into the commentary, I got a question I want to ask to the audience, bro. Have y'all ever seen a nigga with gold teeth and braces at the same time? This is a first for me. I'm from the South. I'm not used to seeing no shit like that. I've seen some pretty contretto shit, country and ghetto. That's that take the cake. But dog, is it too much to ask for your girl not to make her OnlyFans, bro? Come on, man. Listen, bro. If you want to do that type of stuff, just break up with me. Leave me. Let me know so I can leave you because I'm not staying with no girl that's selling images and videos of her doing nasty shit to the world so that everybody who knows me can see. It's not going down. I'm not rocking like that, bro. Is that too much to ask for? You got to put your foot down and leave a woman like that, bro. <laughs> like, wait, 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 wait. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, he me. He me. He me. Y'all. No. I'm kind of busy right now. Mm. What the hell? Are you whispering this shit? Yeah. So look. <clears throat> we called you. You tell me that you sucking dick? Is that what you're doing there? Hey. <laughs> she just <laughs> It's not like I care nothing. <laughs> Yo, man, what you finna do? No, 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 no. Hey, bro. This bitch here cheating on man. So what you finna do? What's your body? No, don't do that. Nah, man. No, don't do that. You, you wanna bust? They got me up. So you wanna bust the window? What? God damn. You know what? You know how much I invest on this bitch? A thousand dollars. So you got me up, man. Don't do that, bro. Don't do that. That's your weakness. <laughs> Get the same thing. That's it? That's it. That's it. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Proof glass. <laughs> Bullet 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 bullet. <laughs> <laughs> no, one more. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> uh, throwing a big ass boulder at her window multiple times and it's not breaking is diabolical, is insane. And you weak as hell for that, dog. That's a feminine trait that you're doing right there. I know y'all gonna disagree with me. Some of y'all are going to have a difference in opinions, but I don't think as a man, it looks good for you to damage the property of a woman because historically speaking, that's what they do. They come and slash tires. They they put sugar in your gas tank and all that stuff like that. A man walks away, leave, he takes his ball and goes home and he pops back out with a bad woman. That's what a masculine man would do. He wouldn't do that. But 
you probably are an emotional man and you got someone in the background telling you to do it so there you go that's your downfall we get dressed and her phone is on but she leave the room got him no he looked at oh no man you look looked at it bro no way no way no way i don't, don't want to know if, if you play, play me, me keep it on the low you, yeah Damn. He put you on a heartbreak episode, bro. <laughs> Listen, bro. Oh, bro. Listen, bro. Look. I go through her, uh, cause she had like she had, like a separate Instagram account. I go through her Instagram account. She texts my ex. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Like, oh, me and Maya, she took my car that day to go get her toes and nails did, right? That was your first mistake. Mm -hmm. She texting her ex like, oh yeah, I need my toes. I need my toes and pussy lick. Out of control. What? What? Um. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's the same ex. I'm like, no, like, what the fuck? I didn't even scroll up no more. No, like, you, don't don't up. you don't want to scroll up. <laughs> yo, listen. <laughs> my heart yo, was clutch. Yo, my heart, bro, it just boom. <laughs> like, I didn't even, like, I was <laughs> stroke, bro. <laughs> bro. Uh, well, how'd you find out, though? And so, a shorty that wanted to f me told me. That's crazy. At first, I was like, nah, but like, she, this is what she did, though. She added me on Snapchat, right? So she posted, like, on her story, like, the shorty that, that told me, she posted her, my shorty and her ex mm -hmm. together, like, no caption, no nothing. She just posted it and knew I was going to see that shit. So I played the cool and I'm at work. Protect the country. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm at, I just stole a blicky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need this. <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's two in the morning when I saw this shit. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, I ain't gonna trip. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna wait till I get to the crib. I see her. I'll talk to her about it after I get off from work. You know what I'm saying? Cause like obviously strong, I can't prevent man. like if if you in the same room, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I can't prevent that. We look we, we was living together at the time. I get home. You living together as well? We was living together at the time, yeah. I get home. Like I nigga, she's I not there. That, I won't touch the house. Oh, she's not there. She's not there. Bitch, where you at? I'd have gotten the tub fully clothed. <laughs> fully clothed. <laughs> so she, uh, I'm out, I'm outside. We got, we got puppies and shit at the time. Puppy school. We had like. Ah, he got family. <laughs> family. <laughs> family you got the family yeah. i'm putting puppies up for adoption bro <laughs> i mean ex-wife ex-kids bro they everyone's gotta go yeah, so i'm about sad i'm about sad with the puppies and shit i see her speed home you who anybody home this shit right she she speed home so look i'm asking her questions and as i'm asking her questions the shorty that told me like them that wanted to me she was telling me everything that happens she want me back step by step you know what i'm saying so i'm like yo i'm like okay like where was you at like where you go last night you know what i mean mind you it's her birthday yeah you could smell the birthday huh? you, you a nasty ass bitch Bro, mm, no. hey man a lot of these women that y'all are dealing with be having affairs with previous partners and stuff like that because these dudes got soul ties on them man she said she want her virginia eight she also wants her toes suck but the crazy thing is this there's a woman who wants to give him the cheeks who's actually giving him play-by-play -play details of what's transpiring before him right she want her cheeks clapped by him so bad that she's willing to sabotage what that other girl got you know because there's no sisterhood among these two obviously she's willing to slime her out so that she can get with old boy but the fact that he saw all of this in the instagram dms and stuff like that you know he should have just from that point on listen this ain't gonna work move his shit out kick her shit out hopefully his name on at least and he ain't gotta go find the wells to live hopefully she gotta go find some wells to live i walked in my girlfriend of three years cheating on me with a teammate and a friend of mine for my soccer team Damn. i found out about their affair quit the team Broke up with my GF and I am planning on moving out. <laughs> yeah, boy. But almost everyone is begging me I forgive them. Fuck them. We ball. Long story short, three weeks ago I am 21 walking on my GFF 20 of making out and jerking off my teammates. You got caught in fucking 4K! Look at this nasty ass bitch. And a friend of mine at a party dot I was supposed to be at work but I was lucky to leave work early. I left it without saying anything and follows me to beg Jamie for forgiveness. And another chance saying she will do anything to fix it. And it was a one-time mistake. Stop lying, boy, stop lying! She was drunk, and she wouldn't do that while sober and she's very sorry. She's a freak. I am numb, heartbroken my mind is all over the place. Since we live together, I leave her and in the house, asks for some space and come back home and later in the afternoon the following day. She goes to pick something up from the kitchen and a message pops up on her phone and it's my friend, making fun of me and asking how I bought her BS. I go through the messages and I find out about their affair which has been going on for a month. Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. I confront her and admits to cheating. She then broke down crying. <laughs> saying she's sorry that it didn't mean anything that she was lonely because I work a lot. Back on that bullshit. 
back on that bullshit again. She wanted to break it off. She only loves me. You know, blah, 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 blah. Excuse me. Blah, blah. I love her very much. I love her mom and younger sister. My parents love her, but I broke up with her and gave her two months to move. I quit the team and I have started the process of moving out. The thing is she's an exchange student. Her mother is a widow and I have been financially supporting her as well as paying for her college. My parents wants me to forgive her and her mom also wants me to forgive her. Because to them she just made a mistake and was immature and she also deals with chronic depression. What does that mean? What does that mean? She is one of those wonderful, extra caring, hypersensitive women who almost everyone likes. Yeah, used to. I've changed. My team doesn't want to suspend or expel the other guy and wants us to act professional for the team and not to bring personal matters to the team. Beta. They are begging me to forgive him and stay for the team as I'm their best goalkeeper. No. Nope. The goo is a recovering addict who has trouble getting a job and basically plays for our the club to make a living. He is also one of our best players and the coach's nephew. I play to earn some extra money. I don't really know what to do. Should I just suck it up for everyone else? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. In 2023, how can you realistically have expectations of any woman holding themselves accountable for the actions that they take when you got a situation where the dude who's being cheated on parents is telling him to go back with the girl. Her parents want what well, her mom wants him to stay with the girl. The administration over the team wants him to stay with the girl. His teammates is basically feeding her lies to tell him and asking her, did he buy that bullshit? So basically they're enabling the bad behavior so how can a woman ever hold themselves accountable when the victim is the one who's getting the short end of the stick everybody wants him to sacrifice his respect for himself his dignity his pride so that this woman can maintain uh be able to go to college man fuck that bro take your ball and go home bro <laughs> let me tell y'all what i just heard heard what so i know this guy that used to be married and i mean used to be Cause honey child, his ex-wife, let me tell you what she did. She was always really big on girls trips, even though she had like two or three kids. But you know what they say, mama gotta have a life too. So one day she was at work and he was home with the kids. Now, if you have an iPhone, you know that you can sync your text messages everywhere. Child, she had them synced to the Apple Watch, the iPad, the computer, and to the phone. Well, this day she left the iPad at home. Tell me and forgot the text messages were sent. So it's the middle of the day, and all he's hearing from downstairs is bing, 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 bing. Gotcha. Since the kids were down for a nap, he decided to go turn the iPad off. He gets to the room and picks up the iPad, and he said, like, he kind of chuckled, because he's like, oh, man, the girl's going in. You know, they just got back from the girl's trip. They must be sharing their experience. But he said, as he looked a little deeper, I don't know what that means. He started reading them text messages. He starts seeing how the girls were talking about all the eggplant. All the times out here. They had just gotten on that previous weekend. As he reads the text messages, he's like, oh, it's such and such saying this. And it's such and such saying that. My wife ain't even commenting. But then he went deeper. Come to find out, his wife is the ringleader. She started the whole text thread. She was talking about legs here, legs there. In my mouth, in my mouth. Threesome. Or she's so now curiosity has gotten by the gonad. He decides to explore. He opens up the Facebook. He opens up the Instagram. Come to find out she had a plenty of fish. And a Tinder. And there were messages upon messages upon messages of her infidelity. I mean, she was telling people she ain't want him. How he had a little pimp thing. She was even talking about how she ain't want her kids. Huh? Damn. What the kids do? So you know me. I asked, what did she do when you confronted her? He didn't. He packed up his kid, went to his mama's house, and filed for divorce. Apparently, she didn't know any of this until they got to court, where he won full custody, alimony, and child support. Oh, 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 guess what? Come to find out, one of the kids ain't even his. It's a friend of a close friend. Which is really bad because she cheated on he takes care of all the kids. He has a new woman and he's about to get remarried. Type shit. Goes to show you, men aren't the only dogs out here in this world, child. 
Have a good day. Say, bro, I'm telling y'all, those girl trips are the devils, man. Especially the ones in Jamaica, bro. They going out there to get that baby leg, bro. That's what it is. They heard about the roster mine, the yard boy, and all of that stuff. Them boys are slanging major wood. That's what they heard. They over there getting those massages, and the dude is caressing their booty cheeks and all their back and everything like that. You think that look that Virginia not getting moist? Come on, man. A little alcohol, a little peer pressure from her friends, and the dude been rubbing on her and caressing on her and rubbing his body parts up against her. That's a recipe for your girl to get smashed. She's already taking it too far. She's in a bikini getting a fucking rub. That's what they go out there to Jamaica to do. I'm telling y'all, bro. And then let's be real. A lot of y'all know that the women y'all girls is going on these girls trips with ain't worth a damn, bro. You know they're not. So why would you even trust that? Is that Janelle? It's not what you think. And Jason? What's up, you have got some nerve coming back here. Hey, bro. How you doing, man? Overnight 911 dispatcher Crystal Perez has been placed on unpaid administrative leave, uh -huh. along with Bear County Sheriff Sergeant Ronaldo Salinas and Deputy Juan Leal. All three have received notices of proposed termination. Bingo. Their conduct, apparently, during the course of the investigation, was found to be egregious enough to where we would issue those proposed terminations. Many of the texts are too explicit for us to share. Sergeant Salinas to Dispatcher Perez. I feel so hot and sexy when I'm... In you. Perez, I can feel it, all of it, and I love it. Salinas, we need another hotel day. Deputy Leal to Dispatcher Perez. I can't wait for us to be naked and us caressing each other and then kissing each other all over. They need all the help they can get. Perez, expletive, yes. She, she just loved my life and it was very distraught, heartbreaking. I was in, in disbelief. The dispatcher's husband, John Carlo Perez, discovered texts between his wife and six sheriff's deputies, plus a city of Converse police officer. In December, he gave them to internal affairs and an investigation was opened. They use emojis uh, to reference body parts and they would talk about, you know, kissing, making out and all these, like I said, just sexual connections. Pettis took screenshots of the text from his wife's phone and many of the timestamps are missing, so it's not clear if the texters were on duty. But in one thread on a Friday night at 10.20 p.m., OMG. Sergeant Salinas tells dispatcher Perez, I get off at midnight, came in early. Very hard for me to read. I can imagine. Jessica Jarvis is now divorcing a fourth sheriff's employee who was being disciplined. Investigator Jason Jarvis received a proposed suspension of 30 days. These are people that are supposed to be protecting us, supposed to be serving, you know, and, and making sure the community is safe. While details of the investigation remain secret, it does not appear anyone broke the law, but those disciplined allegedly violated sheriff's office policies. Certainly the case is being uh, taken seriously. And quite frankly, I, I believe uh, it's, it's, it's a quite possible that some people are gonna lose their career. Broke, broke, broke. Uh, as a result of this. It is still possible more deputies could be disciplined. The employees facing suspension and termination can also appeal their punishment. Jay Avila, News 4 San Antonio. I really feel bad for that man, bro. I would not wish that upon my worst enemy, dog. The woman that you got down on a knee to ask for her hand in marriage. A woman that you made the ultimate commitment to. Bro, men do not go into marriage lightheartedly bro that's something that we just don't do it takes a lot of deliberation it takes a lot of thought it takes a lot of sacrifice for a man to be like man it's gonna be the last woman that i ever sleep with for the rest of my life and then she turns around and does this oh man that gotta be hurtful bro i know that man want to just swallow a bullet right now i know he does and it's interesting enough police women are always on the top five list of people that cheat the most police women that's crazy story time <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There was this one time uh, I met up with this girl after high school. So we used to be like pretty close in high school, but then obviously like we, uh, I'm sure it's the same for you. I fell off with a lot of people just because right. of distance. Yeah. Um, but when we met up again, she told me she's had a boyfriend. They're still together, by the way. They've been dating for like I think at least four years or something. At the time, it was maybe one year since 2019. She told me because she was doing an internship in in this country for three months. Three months. She told me by that time. She had cheated on him with 13 guys. Oh, 
Oh, you nasty bitch. If you do the math, that is more than one a week. You're cheating on with, like, more than once a week. And then she went on to like, oh yeah, this guy's black dick was like the size of my- So you whores must think I'm playing. I was like, first off, I did not ask for that. I did not need to know that. But second, like, how are you like doing this to him and you're still with him? She, they're still together. And bruh, I feel like if they get married or like engaged someday, I, I don't know him, but I feel some responsibility to let him know. Cause like- What? Cause I don't know if she's told, There's, I just don't understand because it's- it was a different country from where they're normally based, so it's very easy to cheat. Like, she would never find out, right? So I don't know if she's never told him where she has, and for some fucked up reason, he's okay with it. Do they not call, though? I mean, like, you can call and still cheat, but, like, it's just crazy, like... But do- once a week, bro! <laughs> more than once a week, 13 times in, like, less than three months. Just oh, damn! It's under three months, I think. Oh. Hey, man, I can't help but tell y'all this, man. If you ever meet a girl and she got a long-time male best friend and you actually believe that he doesn't want to clap her cheeks, it's probably because he knows she's an ultimate sloria, bro. It is what it is, bro. Think about it. That boy probably don't want nothing to do with that girl, even if she threw it at him because she catching a body a week while she's dating some guy. So he's like, nah, she, my friend, this my friend, but I would never want that. I've seen situations where guys will be friends and they never make a move with the girl. And it's because they're utterly disgusted at the thought of touching them. I'm serious, though. It's not common, but it does happen enough. 